Use the sample data and confidence level given below to complete parts A through D. A research institute poll asked respondents if they felt vulnerable to identity theft. In the poll, the sample size was 1,070 and the number who responded yes was 520. Use a 90% confidence level. So we are to find the best point estimate of the population proportion. We are to find the margin of error. We are to construct the confidence interval and we are to interpret the interval. We can use StatCrunch to find the point estimate, the margin of error, and to construct the interval. We'll click Stat, Proportion Stats, One Sample with Summary. The number of successes was 520. The number of observations was 1070. We are to construct a confidence interval with 90% confidence. Click Compute. The first thing we were to find was the point estimator, which is the sample proportion, which we see here, 0.486, if we round to three decimal places. The next thing we were to do was to find the margin of error. The margin of error is half the width of the confidence interval. So we'll look at the lower limit and the upper limit for the confidence interval. We'll find the difference between those values and then divide that by two. The confidence interval went from 0 0.4608 to 0 0.5111 if we round to four decimal places. We'll subtract those values, 0 0.5111 minus 0 0.4608 and that will give us a value of 0 0.0503. Half of that value, 0 0.0503 divided by 2 will give us 0 0.02515. So rounding our margin of error to three decimal places would give us 0 0.025. Rounding the confidence interval endpoints to three decimal places would give us 0.461 to 0.511. Let's put these values on a number line so that we can understand why the margin of error is half of the interval width. In order to construct a confidence interval, we begin with a point estimator, such as the sample proportion. Then we add the margin of error to that sample proportion in order to establish the right endpoint for the confidence interval. Then we subtract that same value in order to establish the left endpoint for the confidence interval. So we can see then that the total width of this interval is 2e. So the margin of error then would be half of that width. Now we should write a statement that correctly interprets the confidence interval. The purpose of a confidence interval is to try to establish a range of values that would capture the population parameter that is being estimated. In this case, that would be the population proportion. So the correct answer would be A. One has 90% confidence that the interval from the lower bound to the upper bound actually does contain the true value of the population proportion.